guys, welcome to another edition of Hype Nation with Survive This. How's it going, guys? How's it going? How's it going? Awesome. Awesome. So let's introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Mike. I play bass. I'm Billy. I play the crumbs. I'm Daniel. I play guitar and sing. I'm Sean, and I just do things. I yell and just smell and sweat. You're part of the band. I mean, well, yeah, there is a lot of smelling. There's a lot of smelling too. Yeah. When you sleep in a van, you smell. Yeah. A lot. How was that experience this last tour with uh, Suey We Survived? Hot? Uh, Our AC didn't like to work when we were climbing mountains, so it got really sweaty. Um, It was fun though. I mean, I had a lot of fun. We we did some cool shows. I think it was last time. One of the few bands we actually like going out with. We hung out. We played with a ball bat. Yeah, let's talk no. about that. I heard you guys got uh, destroyed or what? All right, we, didn't so get, okay. we didn't get destroyed. <laughs> we didn't get Don't destroyed. listen to Mike. He's the MVP player. Clearly, no. <laughs> clearly I'm the only one that grew up playing baseball. <laughs> That's and, not true. And I was carrying the team, right? That's true. It's actually that, that, true. That, that, that is the truth. And then I, I kind of blew it because I suck at sports. It's. I think he got one hit, though. The very I got I got one hit, and then I was like, all right, I got this. He I can do this. basically every strike out. Yeah. 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 I basically had the like the. But you were moral support. You were, you were not yeah. Oh yeah. Not really. I was the no. walking oh. phoenix of he was, he, of the team. He I was had this more like out whining, <laughs> asking for like waters and ice packs and. Was it in the middle of the night? Sure. Oh yeah. yeah it was, it was, it was like awesome. two in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was outside of love. It, it was. Uh, it was a love or flying no, it was like Petro or something. Uh, Petro, yeah. We, the gas station. But you know what? It was cool. It was actually uh, there was like thunder and lightning around us, so that was kind of cool. You couldn't see a dang thing. And we had these lights blinding us every time we went to bat, which is initially why I struck out every it's time. Lights, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna so, say it's the lights, even though everyone else hit the ball except for him. It was because the only one I hit was the only time I had my glasses on. Oh, so and then glasses, he didn't have his glasses. We'll give him that. Okay. He did play without his glasses. I, uh, I stand in front of a or I sit in front of a computer all day on my actual job, so you know. That makes you go blind real fast. So, so I mean, they won this time. But not, next time. But it's next not time. Happen again. Because okay. at least not, a, not as big of a number. <laughs> what was the number? They, they wouldn't give it to me. What it was, was like 27 to 12. I don't know. No, it wasn't no, 12. We got, like, we got like 18. Yeah, it was, it was right below 20. It was like 18, 27. So we didn't do too bad. We got, we got points. It's not like we didn't get points. <laughs> so let's talk about the album. <laughs> Yeah, man, your guys' album kicked ass. Thank I love you. it from start to finish. Any song on there that just uh, kind of stands out to you guys when you guys wrote it? Uh, um, the worst song on the album, 10 Years. Oh. <laughs> uh, that song surprisingly has a great meaning to it. Just the song itself just it sucks. Just, yeah. <laughs> it's but, a great meaning, though. But, I mean, that's, that's just, the you know. The words cool. The seed? The seed. Yeah. Got, you know what? The seed is... Still, probably my my favorite. Song. Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's my favorite. It's to just play. fun, like I think no, kids just, love it. And there's I just the meaning, the energy, the meaning. Dude, yeah. it, I mean, who hasn't had a hard time? I mean, even if you didn't come from like a split family or anything, exactly. like there's still something. There's if it's not, it's it's your brothers or it's your you know, it's your teachers who don't believe you or something. There's always someone who's like putting you down, and I think that's what's so great about the seed is that you can relate to it. No matter if, if it's, you know, you have a dad problem or you have a mom problem or, you know, even a work with it or just everything. The fact that so many people get brought down and just beat down, like they just don't want to get up. You know, yep. you, you need something there. Like you just need to know Ooh. it's okay to get up. Exactly. Now, what about Part of Me? Like, I listened to that song and when, who, who wrote that? All right. So, <laughs> does that mean, I mean... Check it out, check okay. it out. It's not as crazy as you think it is. I don't even know. This is what it is. Okay, so. Did die at the end? No, 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 no. It's, it's actually, it's a metaphor. Okay. The entire song is a metaphor. Okay. It's about your, like, inner realism about cheating. Okay. And every single person, I mean, we, we're, we're very for, like, die hard. Like, we don't believe in cheating. We don't believe in, And what we wanted to really push was the actual effects of yeah. what cheating can cause to whether it's a male or female it just so happens that we're males yeah. so we would write about females you know if we were a female doing the same thing you know it, it i feel like people wouldn't even pay attention to the song as much um but 
that's what it's really about. It's about the inner realism, the, the bipolar feeling. Um, the verses are very chaotic. It's like when you're so upset, all the things that go through your head when you're by yourself and you're screaming and you're just so upset and exhausted from the situation. And then when the chorus hits in, that's your rationalization. That's your, your realism when you when she answers the phone call or when you know, you're know you actually talking, you're like, I just want to know. Like, can you please like really tell me what's going on? And that's what it's really about. Actually, and we just a, wanted it to be so extreme. Yeah, because I mean, I showed a friend and, and he does not listen to metal at all. But that song, he was just like, I totally get it and I totally understand what they're talking about. Yeah. Like just from, you know, going from that to dragging her out to, oh my God, and just everything. Yeah, it's absolutely. Like, it's almost like what runs through your head, like if you were in that situation yeah. and you cheated on. Like, Dude, I mean, yeah, because I mean, if you're really with somebody that you're, feeling. if you're with somebody you really care about and they cheat on you, like, and you got that hurt, you know, like fictional shit will go through your head. Like, exactly. almost like a, a, a movie you think of, like, yeah. when like crazy stuff happens. It's like a fictional story in a sense that goes on in everybody's heads. Like, I mean, everybody's different. Oh, uh, yeah. And I mean, yeah, like I said, this kid didn't even listen to metal and he was just like, oh my God, there's screaming. Awesome. But then once he started listening to it, he was like, are you serious? Like, I felt like people really like, relate to it. Right? The, yeah. the people who understand it, it's actually like, it's one of our most talked about songs, I feel like, because. Yeah. You either hate it because you think we're something crazy, yeah. or you love it because you're like, you just feel it because you instantly connect, because you're like, I've been there. I've had these thoughts. I've had these feelings. So is there a song that you guys just play when you guys are out there that you just into it completely? Right now, I'd say it's a two new songs. We're jamming yeah. two new songs right now, and I, I, I just think you can just feel it on stage. like. Everyone's just excited to play something new. Yeah, and I think that's just, what it really is. The way that we kind of rid them, like wrote them, was in a live situation, like more for like basically live performance. And we wrote them playing live, not like sitting at a computer or anything like that. So it's it just, just has fun that to play. They just have that live energy. And it's just a blast. Plus, and like it, you said, new. Yeah, new I, yeah, it's just new. And I, I feel like the two songs, especially, they're just very meaningful to us. Um, we really dug deep, like lyric, lyric wise, and we really just like push on the songs as a whole again and we're just really happy with what we came up with and I think it just shows like you can see the smile on our faces when those songs come up. So is there how we the words? Yes. The I mean it's pretty much done. Okay. We're just waiting for the release date now at this point. We're we're really excited to release it too. Like we really poured like our hearts into this new record. And everyone we showed it to we showed it to the ceiling dudes like we're just stoked on it right there. Like, well, I'm telling you, like, I don't, I researched you guys and I was listening, but then I actually caught myself listening to it over yeah. and over again because it's my style of music. But then again, they're in every single song I can relate. Yeah, Like, there's absolutely. something in each song that people can play. We're, we're hoping this album is even more like that because it's, to us, it's a lot more mature. Yeah. We, we've always written, I mean, it's, it's always been about self realization and, and building it. I mean, that's the whole thing about Survive This, you know surviving the outcome of what the world you know gives yeah. you so being uh, and building from your self esteem and everything and with every song even off the cold record it's like everything had to have a meaning we didn't just want to write a song to a song and i think that's what's really cool about the old record and what we really enjoy about the new record because now we're diving into you know we're older now we're, we're bigger problems you know bigger aspirations. All right, Hack Nation, check them out, survive this, we'll put the links, you can find them. Survive awesome. this. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.